All right, I am going to explain this game called Roll a Picture. So on Pinterest, they have dice. You can roll one through six, and if it lands on a number, then for the first thing, like if you're gonna draw a face, um, it will say like, if you land on a one, you say which type of face you draw, or whatever, which type of eye. So if one was related to eyes, you roll the one and it tells you which which type of eye to draw for the one. Anyway, I am adapting this. I'm calling it roll a picture and that we're using one through four. So one is a circle, two is like the, so that's like the center of the circle. Two is the end points of the line, three is the corners of a triangle, four is the corners of a square. Okay. So first we're gonna um, we're gonna do a face. I actually have an example of this face. So I just rolled in order. The list is first you you draw the face. You can draw any shape. And then you'll roll to see what shape eye and then what shape nose, what shape mouth, what shape ears. And for fun you can add in here. So here I I drew this squiggly face and then I rolled and I got a two for eyes and two were like endpoints of the line, so I drew lines. And then for nose, I rolled a one, which was a circle. And then for mouth, I rolled a two again. I actually did a broken line, which kind of can start getting into three. Anyway, it's really flexible. And then I actually rolled four for hair. Um, instead of ears, I just rolled for hair and stuff. But anyway, so this is how we rolled. We using kind of like Senate sticks, if you play Senate. And anyway, they're sticks. And they have one colored side and one non-colored side. So instead, we found four rocks. Yeah, Ethan found four rocks. We just yeah. drew smiley faces on all of this. Like, I'm out right here. Yep. Hi, Ethan. Okay. So we roll it. And we got, let's see, two smiley faces. Okay, that's my shoe. So if I had drawn my face, say right here, I'm drawing a triangle face. Okay. So I had gotten a two. So two is a line. So I do two lines for eyes. You can do straight. You can... Uh, horizontal, you can open down, you can even do slightly curved or a, a little wiggle, just something that has two endpoints. Um, okay, so now we're doing nose. So I roll, and I got one. So now on my picture for nose, I do a circle. Hey, this is seeming familiar. Okay, now I'm doing mouth. And I got Two. This is like an exact repeat. Okay, so two for my mouth. Um, I'm gonna do a curve line because two endpoints. Okay. Um, now ears. Three triangles. So now I'm gonna do triangle ears. Doop 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 doop. So that's my monster. And just for kicks, I'm gonna do hair. And sorry, that one fell off. Two. So lines for hair. So I'm going to actually do some squiggle lines going up like that. So that's my monster. Roll the monster. Okay, so I played this with Ethan. It was fun. Then I thought, oh, you could also do it for the body. So this is the outline for the body. First you have to draw the face. I drew that. I wrote that wrong. First you have to draw just kind of a face outline shape. And then you roll for these and you can choose to roll for hair on the fifth roll if you want. Okay, body, you don't start with anything. You just roll and the first roll is he head, second is body, third is arms, fourth is legs. If you want to keep going, you can add on like hair, clothes, hands, or legs if you want. And then I thought, oh, we could do it for a house. That's easy. You could draw a house in the first roll, and then you draw a door, and then you draw a roof, and then you draw windows. And then I thought, hey, I'm recognizing patterns here. Anyway, so then a house is within a landscape, so you could do a landscape. You did air, or what the sky looks like first, and then maybe a river or a lake in the foreground. And then you can add mountains in the background. And then you can add some trees or flowers for the fourth one. So if you notice the face, you can do the face, or you can do what the face is on. It's on, it's on somebody's body. You can do the house, or you can do the scene where the house is, like a landscape. Anyway, so you kind of got your internal, external, internal, external. Um, and then you also are working from an external, inter at least right here, like you start with the outline and then you work through the details. You start with the outline and then you fill in the details. Um, just kind of interesting. 